and a good Tuesday morning to you. I'm meteorologist Peyton Malone. Thanks for joining me for your 10 a.m. update here on August the 9th. We are steadily making our way through hurricane season here and things have still been fairly quiet, but we are tracking a couple of areas or at least watching a couple of different things in the tropics. What I want to start with first is something a little bit closer to home, not necessarily watching for development chances here, but we're watching some tropical moisture that is going to bump up our rain chances along the northern Gulf Coast over the next couple of days and maybe even into parts of the weekend as well. Notice this is an overview of the uh, Atlantic or excuse me, the Gulf and the Caribbean. There's some storms, there's some tropical moisture, there's a tropical wave even in the Gulf region, but it's not really anticipated to develop much or organize much. It is going to bring rain chances though. So what you're looking at here is deep tropical moisture. And the more moisture you have in the atmosphere, the more it can rain, your rainfall rates can be higher. So where you see over us right now, we do have quite a bit of deep tropical moisture and that's around today, tomorrow, Friday, even into parts of the weekend as that tropical wave and moisture stick around. Now by the weekend, something else we're going to be watching is a cool front. This cool front's going to come in from the north and this will help keep our rain chances high. And unfortunately, we're not going to get in on the nice dry air of the cool front, but go up into portions of Alabama, Georgia, they will. But down here on the Gulf Coast, it's just going to be something to help enhance the chance for storms. Something else we'll watch is any time you get a boundary like this, in this case, it's going to be a cool front that associated with this deep tropical moisture. It can lead to areas of low pressure trying to develop along that cool front. And if the conditions are right, if shear is low, things like that, the water temperatures are warm, you can get low pressure trying to develop. So this will be something we watch into early next week in the northern Gulf and especially off the east coast of the U.S. here. Right now, model guidance isn't very aggressive on developing any low pressure, but it's certainly a possibility, <clears throat> excuse me, as we go through the next seven days or so. But really, it looks like just rain chances are going to be higher along the Gulf Coast over the next several days. Now, deeper in the tropics, this is being highlighted by the National Hurricane Center for the potential of development. This is way on out there. I mean, we're talking thousands of miles away. What you're looking at here is going to be out towards the uh, Cabo Verde Islands just off the coast of Africa. It's a tropical wave, not very organized at all, and it's got some showers and thunderstorms with it, but that's about it. Now, if you've been watching, the chances were medium, about 40%. Now they're only 30%. And the reason for the National Hurricane Center backing off is because guidance has really backed off as well as it just has not really organized much over the past 24 hours. Models were thinking at this point it was going to be somewhat organized, and it's really not. The showers and storms are some broad circulation down here, but it's just not doing much. However, it does still have a chance to organize some over the next couple of days, and if it's going to do it, it's going to have to do it in the near term. We're talking probably in the next three days. Somewhere in this zone, it could try to become a depression, but the further west it gets, the chance of it developing will drop. It's going to be moving into more wind shear and dry air once it gets over here on the western side of the of the uh, or the left side of the graphic here but it could still try to organize some over the next couple of days a couple of things working against it it is in a fairly modest environment meaning not in a terrible environment it could be in a better one but uh, there's not a ton of dry air near that circulation the dry air is certainly on the north side and the shear the shear is actually pretty low right now and so that's why it had, does have that chance to try to organize some you could see it moving across the atlantic there Still got the moist air with it, but as it gets closer to the Caribbean islands here, Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, it's going to start to run into shear. And what that shear will do will allow that dry air to really impact whatever this tropical wave is doing. So that allows dry air to get up in it, choke off those storms, and whenever you're choking off storms of dry air, it's just not going to organize much. So that's something to watch. Notice this is by Sunday. It's on the northern side of the islands here. And while it may not be a tropical depression or storm, it's still going to bring moisture and some rain into that area. Then the big question is, well, what is this tropical wave going to do in the long term? We're talking beyond the five day forecast, the seven day forecast here, and it is going to continue to move west for some time. And here's what's steering the tropical wave right now. It's riding around that ridge of high pressure, your Bermuda high. But as we go into next week, we're talking. Notice what happens Sunday, Monday. This trough of low pressure is going to be digging down across the eastern United States. And whenever a trough digs down over the eastern United States, it opens up the flow route basically for that tropical wave, whatever it may be, to lift up to the north and go out into the Atlantic. But it's all about timing. So if this 
trough is a little weaker or maybe a little slower. This wave could get a bit further to the west, maybe to the Bahamas or South Florida by next week. Um, but if that troughs a little stronger, maybe a little faster, then it will curve this thing out into the Atlantic before this wave ever thinks about getting to Florida. So that's the pattern we'll be watching into next week. It is also a reminder that this is seven to 10 days away. Things will certainly change around some. These waves may not look like much and then ramp up. Just something to watch out for. But for now, it just does not look like it's going to have an easy time getting all the way to the Gulf of Mexico with this type of steering pattern. So that's what we're going to be watching in the long term. In the short term, though, definitely could become our next depression. We'll wait and see. And off the off chance, doesn't look very likely. It gets a name. The next name is Danielle. But for now, things are generally still fairly tame out in the tropics. Of course, we know as we go into the end, kind of the August 20th and beyond time frame, that's what climatology tells us, or that's when climatology tells us things will eventually ramp up. And we are still forecasting a near average or a slightly above average hurricane season. So still got time to prepare here, but watching a couple of things out there for now. Thanks for joining me on your Tuesday morning tropical update.